Okay, so I have a problem with the Sony camera, which is something really weird because I actually switched systems to get rid of this problem, and it has to do with autofocus again. Now before I was using the Lumix Panasonic cameras, which are wonderful cameras, I really miss using the Lumix cameras, especially the Micro Four Thirds system, but I was constantly having problem with the continuous video autofocus, continuous autofocus for video, because the camera would constantly be coming back and forth with the focus. Now what I've noticed on my Sony a7 III, which has one of the best autofocus mechanisms in the world, I think, the newer Sony cameras are even better, but this one is really well, is that this camera also sometimes loses focus especially if I have a really bright background. So let me show you. So if I turn around like this, you'll start to see the camera start to lose focus on my face. Now that's typical for every camera, if it's a really contrasty and bright background that the camera has trouble keeping focus. But this one, on this camera, it's, it's kind of dramatic. The camera really just starts coming in and out. So is there a solution to this problem? Well, actually I found it, and it's the worst solution possible that I could possibly want to have. And it's this, I have to turn the picture profiles off. Because you see, before I was shooting with an S-Log2 flat gamma curve image profile, logarithmic gamma curve image profile, that basically takes away all the contrast in the shot, and it looks like this. So I need to color grade it to get it back into contrast and into colors. But the cool thing is that I do have a higher dynamic range, but if I turn all the picture profiles off and use the natural colors, like I typically have when I'm taking photographs, well, then the autofocus is really responsive. It works really well and I can do well whatever I want with it. So why is this a problem? Well, you can see in the background it's completely blown out. There is no details in the background, although the camera is keeping me in focus very nicely, but I'm losing all of the dynamic range that I could possibly have from this wonderful camera. It's a full frame sensor with 14, 15 stops of dynamic range. Now I'm kind of limited to, I don't know, 10 stops of dynamic range. Before with S-Log2 I was probably around 12, 13. And if I was to shoot with S-Log3, which is really aggressive, that would probably give me the 14 or 15 plus stops of dynamic range, not really sure. But yeah, that's like the worst solution ever. And to give you a comparison of S-Log2, you can see how much more details I have in the background. But, you know, I'm really not confident that I'm being in focus right now. So that's kind of a problem and a solution. So if you guys have a similar problem, then let me know down in the comments and just, you know, let me know how you solve the problem. And I really don't want to go back to manual focusing on a Sony camera. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, and I will leave you with this video, which is preferably in focus, uh, if you guys want to stay in the channel. And I will see you in this one. So thanks for watching and bye-bye.